and welcome to the Honest Trailer Commentary for Triple X. Yeah! I'm Spencer uh, J. Gilbert. That's Dan Merle. And I forgot uh, everything about my father, Dan Merle. What about you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mid Vin Diesel noise. Um, today we're going to talk about our thought process behind the Honest Trailers, show you some deleted scenes. If you stick around to the end, uh, you will see a teaser for next week's Honest Trailer. And we forgot to print them out again, but I will scroll through uh, yeah. some of the top comments and questions and we'll maybe respond to that. Yeah. Yeah, if you're lucky. Um, but first and foremost, we got to talk about uh, the pinnacle of early 2000s ridiculous extreme sports spy filmmaking and discuss the Triple X franchise. Yeah. yeah, if I ever have uh, kids or grandkids on my knee and say, uh, Pappy, what? What were the what were the two thousands like? I will just sit them down and show them triple X. Well, it's not what they were like per se. It's like what did what did people aspire to be? Yes. <laughs> what was the what was the dream of every sixteen yeah. year old in two, in the year two thousand? If for our grandparents it was to have like the suit with the most fabric, yeah. or the longest car. The best fedora. Uh, the best fedora with the <laughs> largest, rarest feather. Yes. Uh, then for us it was to be the most muscled Mountain Dew can of a of yes. a human being. Um, the world's doing, best extreme athlete. Doing the sickest slash spy. Sports <laughs> where you do a McTwist uh, into a woman and then save the world. Uh, that's the Triple X franchise promise. Yeah. Um, Man. One that they, I think they went back on, I guess we can talk about it now, one that I think they uh, they violated in in Triple X 2, State of the Union. Yeah. Um, I think that they moved away from what made it great. <laughs> what made it, it What work? made it unique. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can talk about that later. I, I do think that these are dumb fun in the way that I think the Fast and uh, Furious movies are dumb fun. Yeah. It, I'm a sucker for extreme sports. You know, I was, as Avril Lavigne called it, a skater boy. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for anyone doing tricks off of something. And uh, this, this is just fun. These are slightly more self-aware. Not completely self-aware because Vin Diesel is still intimately involved. Yeah. And, and I'm convinced that he is a a very talented human being who lacks any self-awareness whatsoever. That's not necessarily a negative thing, but sometimes it is. Uh, but these are slightly more self-aware than the Fast and the Furious movies, and that you do get the feeling, the last few Fast and Furious movies, after, let's say, Fast Five, yeah. I've not really gotten the idea that they were, quote-unquote, in on the joke. Sure. I, um, I don't think it's so much in or out on the joke. I think it's like, is Vin enjoying himself or not? And I don't think he's enjoying himself so much on the latest Fast movies. You no. know, there's The Rock walking by, making him feel inadequate. Um, there's, you know, he's got a uh, a big dialogue scene he has to memorize with Charlize Theron. That's, Oscar that's winner. confusing yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. So this is more like, okay, I get to I get to like sneer and uh, and my stunt double's gonna have some fun. Wears a big coat. Wear that big big ass. Pretend coat. to skateboard. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Neymar shows up. Yeah. It sounds like a good Easy time. Easy peasy. Yeah, and then like call up, uh, if not his buds, then at least people who will be, you know, indebted to him uh, for putting him in a movie. <laughs> yes. Uh, it seems like like a good time was had by all. Yeah, yeah. I don't have I don't have as much animosity toward these movies as I do some of the Fast and Furious movies. I think because there's a little bit more of an understanding in my mind of exactly what they are. Yeah, and I think that. X3 is actually the best fulfillment of that promise in that it is the most over the top and the most ridiculous whereas yes. the first one I think it was still early enough and close enough to that like X Games l type of uh, person that it uh, it didn't go crazy enough. It was earnest. It was earnest. Yes. Exactly. Uh, but <laughs> or was it? I don't know. Like I don't the, know. the first scene of the first movie is him like stealing a guy's Corvette because he wants to like ban rap music. Yes, a congressman or a senator's Corvette because he hates rap music. And yeah. so then he straps like cameras to it and, and escape, drives it off. Skateboards off of it. <laughs> I don't know. It's real dumb. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, let's watch a few glorious moments of the Triple X franchise together and we'll have more to say. Yes. Thank you. Two years of waiting for some of those <laughs> folks. If you want to watch some porn, but you're dumb and easily confused, do your best to get off on the Triple X franchise. Sound like a porno star. Catch the, bill. the name is interesting because mm -hmm. what came first, Triple X or Xander Cage? Well, his name was Xander Cage. 
or the and neck tattoo. Then he, had he the happened to have. He a had the neck tattoo. Here's because right. some people say this is an inconsistency okay. because they say that the program was called the Triple X program. But if that's so, then why? Then why did not? I think that he was Xander Cage. He had the Triple X tattoo. Samuel Jackson was running a covert agent recruitment program looking for the extremist of athletes, and Xander Cage was so successful that they then named it the triple x program after him and so henceforth all agents would be known as triple x and they had the logo printed on the floor i always wonder for those government agencies like there's a big logo on the floor like who's like their vinyl guy who they're like (laughs) i need a big covert agency logo to be put on the floor i think they just hire one off craigslist then they shoot him in the head oh yeah that's probably right yeah Yeah. but so yeah i think that because some people like oh if it's why is it called the triple x agency if xander cage was the first triple x agent i think they named it after him so do you think like the first CIA agent was a guy named like Kiarl and he had like a big <laughs> CIA neck tat? <laughs> like Kiarl, <laughs> yes, yeah. CIA. Okay, anyways, let's keep going. Films Vin Diesel makes between Fasts and Riddicks and the films Ice Cube makes between Fridays and Are We There Yet? As you rock out to a spy trilogy that asks, what if James Bond had twice the chlamydia? His gadgets were designed for sex criminals and his mission was to sneak into Ozfest while wearing progressively larger coats. Dude looks like an ostrich giving birth. <laughs> Pause. When da- Where did you find that? Uh, I typed in ostrich giving birth <laughs> or laying an egg. I typed in, because I was like, he looks like an egg yes. coming out of a furry animal, Like, what, but it's kind of bird-like. All right, what would it have been? It's an ostrich laying an egg. And then, uh-huh. uh, yeah, then we kind of made it our own, if you will. Uh, we have lots of alts for that. I hope we still have those. Do we have those? Yeah, oh, we, yeah okay. we got okay, some good. We got the, cause we have like a lot of alts thing. for that. Yeah. Um, the coat thing. <laughs> Here's the weirdest part of the coat thing in uh, in researching this movie. There's an interview for X3, uh, and Vin Diesel, like the interviewer, asks him about the coats, and he says, "Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was uh, talking about the sequel and, uh, with uh, Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> and Mark Zuckerberg told me you gotta have the coat. It's such a badass coat." <laughs> so I think that the first movie, it's like he's going underground in Russia. It's mm-hmm. cold. You need a big fur coat, like a Russian mobster, I guess, would wear. Yes. Sure, but like the coat became a thing. Yeah, that Mark thanks Zuckerberg to loved. Mark Zuckerberg, according to Vin Diesel, which we were trying to unwind in the writers' room, and we figured out forever, like. Vin Diesel had the most liked yes. page on all of Facebook, Facebook. right? It was the biggest page on Facebook so for a long time. So that would make sense why he would be meeting with Mark meeting Zuckerberg. With, with Zuck. He's like, oh, yeah. I, re- I really love the, your coat, like coat, man. It's so, there you go. so cool. <laughs> I love that yours it sounds like Kermit <laughs> slash George Lucas. Yeah, uh, so really uh, we're doing some interesting things here with um, um, privacy. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be president someday. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's keep going through Triple X. Uh. Danger lurks beneath a sexy dance club, hooker mechanic shop, or off the grid jungle rave. Uh, Some pause. jungle rave that's off the grid. Go back to the guy who is who is DJing. This is what I love about X3. We don't really go into it enough. Um, but he's got a guy Some in his crew. Some jungle rave that's off the grid. If you scroll back to that, yeah, the dance club, hooker mechanic DJ. shop, or off pause. the grid. Yeah. That guy. Um, he assembles a crew, and it's like Ruby Rose. She's a sniper. Yeah. Uh, the Hound from Game of Thrones. He's an explosives expert. Yeah. This guy, and he does it multiple times in the film, his only skill is rocking the party. Yeah, he's like, Donnie Yen, he can fight anything. Yeah, so this, this guy, guy is awesome, is cool. He just gets the party going. This guy appeals to more Asian markets. Yeah, he is like a, I don't know, a, a, a pick an Asian market, some type of yeah. pop star of that. Uh, it's it's either Japan, Korea, or China. He's a pop star in one of those. And he his thing is he goes into the party, and he just rocks it. Everybody yep. goes nuts when he's in there. And, you know, you can have a character like that in Triple X. Gotta have a life of the party in there somewhere. Yeah. 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 So, props to him. <laughs> character development. Grid jungle Good rave. <laughs> Some jungle rave that's off the grid. America will need a new breed of secret agent. And by secret, I mean world-famous celebrity. Xander Cage. This is crazy. Snowboard, motorbike, everything. You're <laughs> awesome. Motorbike. With a neck tag awesome. of their agency. <laughs> and won't hesitate to out themselves if they think it'd get them laid. I'm a secret agent. <laughs> I work for the NSA. <laughs> It'd be like Pause. recruiting an international... So- Directly after that, when he's very loudly in a public place saying sure. that, she gets a phone call that's like, Yorgas found out that he's with the he's a secret agent with the NSA. <laughs> She's like, oh, how Whoa. did that happen? It's like, there's probably someone just like sitting next to them that was like, oh, he's a secret agent. We yeah. should probably call the that dude. 
Not the most subtle. Not very covert. Uh, the idea of sending celebrities undercover in the first place <laughs> seems a little dumb. Um, like, if you got to get someone with attitude, you know, maybe somebody a little more off the grid who yeah. doesn't have, like, a widely popular, I guess, pirate radio. What is known to be, like, a subversive... Yeah. I mean, maybe that's why, because he's like, oh, I hate the government. <laughs> That's but exactly I what we really need for the government. Love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right. Keep not going. low profile. Certainly not very low profile. Yeah. Tucker started going to cover. <laughs> oh, they did that too. Vin Diesel is Xander Cage, a rebel with an obnoxious attention to detail. Stockbroker over here, reading the Financial Times on a Sunday morning. The lady that was running to catch the what bus that doesn't leave for two hours. Flashing his badge to have by the, the door. Bar. There's no way in hell the bar. waitress comes Eagle. to work in high <laughs> on heels. The, stairs. the nice old man. <laughs> Just happened to know I spoke English. Go figure. This rebel is so I... rebellious. That's a very Jason, that's a very thing like, a, that's like a Jason Bourne thing. But, I guess so, but yeah. But he's received no spy training. He knows this no. stuff immediately, which means he's like a savant. Yeah, no, he's just like, he's like Rain Man, but for <laughs> only like fake training scenarios he's been dropped into. He's right? just been prepping his whole life for this. It's, I guess you need a, attention to detail when you're shredding some gnarly powder. <laughs> gnarly powder <laughs> while also undercutting the Belgian government yeah. or whatever the hell he does. Yeah. Yeah, the, the final thing is, like, we need to infiltrate this snowy fortress. Like, we're going to drop you out of a plane right over it or nearby? No, like, no. on the one peak over, <laughs> yeah. and you're going to start you shredding. Can, you know, just sort of shred some shred powder. Your way and, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's because it's, there's, like, the, the first one, there's a party, like, Tony Hawk is hanging out there. Yes. But it's, like, even at this time, Tony Hawk was a businessman. I yeah. don't think he would be there with like known government subversive and convicted or or wanted felon uh, Xander Cage. Yeah, probably not. Sadly to say, at this era, it's probably Tony Hawk Two Pro Skate. <laughs> exactly. He, 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 he transitioned. He's not going to risk the IPO on being caught in the in the home of no. uh, aiding and abetting a known criminal. Yeah, you don't want to risk that. No. Uh, uh, Matt Hoffman too. The BMX stars in there. Yeah. Oh, is that who that was? Yeah. Oh, it's a, a solid game. It's a Tony Hawk clone, but yeah, it's, it's sure. with bikes. All right. All right. Keep going. He will rebel against authority, join the rebels, then rebel against the rebels to protect the authority's right to be rebelled against, I think. Just don't get him confused with Dominic Toretto, because while this tank-topped lunk also loves muscle cars, mumble growling, savers in my vocabulary, and surrounding himself with multi-ethnic world celebrities to maximize global ticket sales, Xander has an upsetting slack-jawed horny face. This ew. Is very odd. Ew. Close your mouth, Vin, please. <laughs> uh, what is what's going on? the most on? disturbing kisses I've ever seen in this movie. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? No. <laughs> but when you, you've got a script what? too dumb yeah, for yeah, even Vin Diesel. How? How? What? How, 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 how what? He seems to have never He's had interaction with a human female before. <laughs> I, it's, I'm sure it's different when you're being filmed. You know, it's not as natural. Yeah. Uh, they probably didn't really get along on set you know a ton Maybe. of chemistry and then they just have to but he's really trying to lap it up like uh like a dog at a, at a bowl <laughs> it's just odd <laughs> it's just it's just it's disconcerting yeah it's disturbing because yeah. because that's not like that's not like an al gore tipper gore thing where it's like you're on stage at a convention and you do this really weird awkward kiss like that was the best one. Yeah, you're right. I'd love to see They had many tries to get cut. that right, and that was the one that they said, like, yeah, okay, that goes in the movie. Well, my guess is his character, or, you know, he's a bit of a mouth breather. Um, uh, it seems yeah. like he doesn't have the, the clearest nasal passages, so he's got to uh, leave room when he's kissing for oxygen, otherwise he'll suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise he might, he might lose. He's a deviated septum, yeah. is that yeah, what you're so saying? Yeah, so he needs to leave, like, kissing yeah. with this part of the mouth and then leave <laughs> this part open for air. It's like uh, swimming and coming up for air. <laughs> Exactly. It's like a fish. There were more kissing clips, but we didn't feel like subjecting <laughs> yeah. you guys to that. So yeah, let's keep Just going. Go watch the movies. It's time to look for someone with even more attitude. More attitude. And bring in the new Triple X, Darius Stone. He doesn't do extreme sports. More fries than another shake. Or love the ladies. If you need anything, anything at all. How about some fries and a shake? But he does hit people with his elbows a lot. <laughs> So pause. 
I guess some thoughts overall on Darius Stone. First of all, that's a bigger porn name to me than Triple X. It is. Ever. Darius Stone is the porniest porn name. <laughs> Even a... more than Xander Cage yeah. is Darius Stone. Definitely a porn name. Um, just so many unforced errors. I guess Ice Cube just didn't want to skate, didn't want to get on the board or something, but they immediately are like, I don't do that stuff. But, but then what do you do? Right, but I mean, it's like we're, we're talking about the elbow thing here, and yeah. then we're showing the little bunny hop thing. Yeah. I... I suspect maybe that Ice Cube may not be the best, like, action guy. Sure. Like, because, yeah. you know, the running is a little awkward and... Uh, but it's not like Vin's really skiing down the jungle, you know? You get yeah. a stunt double for that. But, like, if you ask, but, like, even in a fight scene, like, you know, that, you know, I could do that. <laughs> but, like, if you were to ask me to convincingly throw a punch on, I couldn't do it. Sure. I just don't, I don't, I lack the coordination or the skill to do so. Yeah. So I wonder if perhaps they're, they're sort of cementing over a little bit uh they want to make ice cube look like a credible action star and they're yeah. they're doing what they can but perhaps the extreme sports were not were not in the cards for him i guess not i mean it, the the whole x2 thing was it was a sad experience for me because that more attitude scene especially because it's like we were saying it's like there's they wrote the studio notes into the script mm -hmm. uh and it's like we need somebody uh, well, if we don't have Vin Diesel, we need somebody who's more hip hop, more ruthless, more down to the streets, more attitude, more, more attitude. attitude. <laughs> I also love how they, they literally the way that they explain why Vin Diesel is not in the movie is they're in the situation room and a guy just walks in and says, Xander Cage was killed in Bali last night. <laughs> and they're like, Bora. Oh, Bora Bora. And they're, it was like, <laughs> oh, oh dang. man. Well, who else we got? <laughs> like, wow. And, and they never in X3 explain, like, whether that was a ruse or anything I like think that. they briefly mentioned, they like, it, it, he shows up and I think someone's like, aren't you supposed to be dead? Sure. But it's like. I'm not. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and then on we go. The end, yeah. But yeah. 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 Um, and, and the other thing is, like, what you need, what makes a triple X movie great, what makes it work, is that. And I, I maintain that this is a good premise, even though it's incredibly dumb the way they execute it, is like you send somebody undercover mm -hmm. who really does have more in common with the bad guys, a spy who really does have more in common with the terrorists or with, yes. the, with the rebels than, uh, uh, than the agency sending It's a point break formula. Yeah. A point break formula. Yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They've done it before. But with ICE... With with Cube, it was like he was infiltrating like the stuffy world of like DC lobbyists and like and politics and like like these you know Virginia suburbs and stuff like that. Like, there's no tension there. There's well, not, yeah, no, it's it's not it's not a ice ice. Yeah, I genuinely thought that Vin, that Xander Cage was going to become a member of Anarchy Ninety Nine. Anarchy Ninety Nine, bro, bro, vodka. A tiny Why do we sound like Watto? <laughs> that's what they sound it like in 1999. Like like, yeah. They're building a tiny uh, uh, submarine. I forgot the ending of that. <laughs> yes, there was a submarine equipped with bio with with gas. Yeah, that would that was going to go through Prague. I want to say sure and gas everyone. Yeah. And then apparently and it was like no. Nah too extreme yeah, apparently they couldn't stop the submarine so they're like this is this submarine's gonna go all over the world yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> dumb you could hit it with a rocket launcher or oh, whatever. Yeah, oh no no because only water neutralized the gas so they had to, it's just they had to sink it mm. <laughs> it's called Keep ahab <laughs> ah! Ah! Plus, he's bones. got a little bunny hop when he runs oh it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> Are That's you how I ready run. for yeah. action? But chug a Red Bull for sequences that give the finger to gravity and logic, where cars become trains, bikes become surfboards, <laughs> serving trays become skateboards, skis become dirt skis. <laughs> and just when it seems like all hope is lost, a ramp will emerge to launch the heroes into glory. Take it from Triple X Kids, anything Three is ramps. a ramp if you put your mind to it. What the hell you think you're doing? Building a ramp. How does this help? <laughs> exactly. Just so jump enjoy off the car. A ridiculous <laughs> franchise that somehow overcomes that its shot. clunky dialogue. Yeah. Get crunk, X. Come on, Steel, get crunk with us. Word. Embarrassing needle drops. And parade of stereotypes. Everything's all right with enough vodka. Because enough time has passed that we're getting nostalgic for the early 2000s era of new metal and nipple tattoos. Ah! 
prank that crazy town and pass the Gogurt. I wonder how my Neopets are doing. <laughs> oh, they're all dead. Pause. Scary. Uh, I like that read from John. Yeah, That's oh, good. they're all dead. Plus, yeah, I like Kevin finding that clip voice. of Samuel yeah. Jackson being very upset excellent, that excellent his work. Neopets have died. Yeah, um, we, we debated a lot of which uh, early 2000s references we should drop in there. Mm -hmm. um, God, Biscuit obviously was in the mix. Yeah. Um, we just did a Biscuit reference with uh, the Fanatic yeah. in the Oscar trailer. Power Man 5000, um, mm. Disturbed. What's mm. your favorite terrible early 2000s new metal act? Fill in your own below. I like that it's like... It had the most early 2000s script direction had to be like fade in a fire concert with Ramstein. It's like a fire, <laughs> fire, fire, fire yeah. festival, but not with a Y. And they sent with some stuffy James Bond type yeah. to go in and they shot him while he was crowd surfing. Yep. Can't do that. <laughs> Dork. Get out of here. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah. And then Dan, I, I found out just before we started rolling and never uh, heard of Neopets, which is. I, I heard shame. the name, but I, I never was quite sure. I never got into like Tamagotchi, Neopets, any of that. Yeah, this was just like free to play Pokemon on, okay. on the browser. Yeah, I never got into Pokemon. Either. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. the more you know. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Bong. James Bong. Hair today, gone tomorrow. A leather clad female double agent. Every movie has Doctor one. Dr. Yet. The bad guy from Speed 2. <laughs> Donnie Yes and Tony Yeah. Ruby Tuesdays. Tony Colletting a paycheck. Your two favorite PlayStation games. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crashing all the time. Machete. No Limit album covers, 1996 yeah. to 2000. And Iced Cube. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible. Uh, uh, I had forgotten when I was watching the movie at what era in Danny Trejo's career we were. Okay. So when he showed up, I was like, Oh, awesome! Danny Trejo is going to be like the bad guy in this movie, and nope. then he was in it for like two minutes. Yeah, and I'd forgotten maybe. we had we had fully, we as a as a society had yet to fully realize the many gifts that Danny Trejo had to offer us yeah. beyond just nondescript uh, uh, goons, uh, tough. Yeah, and he just got roasted by uh, by Triple X. Yeah, in uh, his car, right? Got blown up. Yeah, well, roasted verbally, and then oh, and yes. then actually blown up. They just make fun of him for three minutes, and then he blows up. Yeah, an ignominious end for. The great Denny Trejo. Yeah, so that was a. Uh, I was I was I was applying current day Trejo knowledge to twenty years ago Trejo appearance and just, yeah. just to show you how much we've we've grown to appreciate Denny. But Triple X does pass his uh, criteria of the. Is it the four Bs? Where uh, every Denny Trejo, every movie needs. Oh yeah. It's like bullets, blades, babes, babes, bombs. Blood? I don't know. I don't remember. Blood. Yeah. yeah. Look up the Danny Trejo and the and the four Bs. I think, and you'll yeah. you'll, you'll find all there. some great interview footage. Yeah. Um. And uh, man, that guy can. That guy's all over Los Angeles. Trejo's tacos. Trejo's donuts. Donuts. Yeah. Tacos. He's quite the entrepreneur. Amazing. In addition to being a great character actor. Yeah. Good for you, Danny Trejo. Yeah, good for you, Danny Trejo. And he's like a hero. He saved. He like helped somebody out of a car. There was like a car wreck, and he like helped get like a kid out of a car. Okay. A couple years ago, which Straight. is funny because they cut to Danny Trejo and he's there shirtless, of course. <laughs> uh, but like, seemed like the most humble guy. Wow. Like, yeah, there was like a car wreck and like Didn't he Werner Herzog do that too. Werner Herzog saved, I believe it was Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. From an overturned car on the Sunset Strip, he pulled Joaquin Phoenix out of his overturned car, and Joaquin Phoenix looked up and it was Werner Herzog, who then <laughs> disappeared into the night. <laughs> Life comes at you fast. Yeah. All right, let's finish up. It's time to put Triple X in more of a hip-hop context. Oh, these Lost are deleted scenes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or so, then give him a little more attitude. More attitude? Or go undercover anywhere besides a D.C. area lunch spot. Mm. Rap Billy Bob Baker, Southern Baptist Brotherhood. Great to meet you, Reverend. Mm -hmm. Starring so pause. Dom uh, Cruz. That, that was a Poochie reference. I hope you people, you people got it. You, you people. We need to put him in more of a hip-hop context. Hip Rustify him by 10% is yeah. the creation of Poochie scene. So one of yes. the many Simpsons references hidden inside almost every episode of Honest Trailers. There's a lot. Yeah, men of uh, the people like us, we can't help ourselves. No, yeah. it's like a com It's like our comedy like uh, codex. Like yes. it, it is the it is the Rosetta Stone for for people of our age. Sadly, for like comedy, true. it's it's laid on a bedrock of the Simpsons. Yep. All right, let's keep going. Ethan Stunt, Dominic Toretto, Code Red, Nick Furious, Samuel M. Jackson, Anarchy 99 Love Balloons, Willem the Foe, 
Yeah. Hashtag no Oscar for Tony. Yeah. And triple X. I mean X to the third. I mean X cubed. Yeah. And... Glad I called that guy. Glad What's I up? That guy. <laughs> Triple Plex. R.I.P. Mad Magazine. <laughs> We're never gonna get that joke in. <laughs> Press X to pay respects. <laughs> James Bong. Yeah. Double Bro Seven. Yep. Yeah, yeah. A guy Vin Diesel size taking stairs five at a time is Loki the best stunt I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a great shot. Yeah. Very impressive. I forgot to tag on the trailer. I think I talked over it. I apologize. That's fine. Yeah. They watch the actual trailer for that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, let me <clears throat> very quickly address uh, sure. some of people's comments. Um, we should do an honest trailer for Vin Diesel's entire career. We yeah, pretty much have it. Yeah, this we kind of have. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see Boiler guess. Room. Um, yeah. Find me guilty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Messi can go undercover in America. That's the biggest soccer star, Lionel Messi. Do you think that they could send... Would you recognize Lionel Messi if he walked in this room? I mean... I might not, just because I'm not huge into international soccer. However, I think that there are enough people that would that uh, it would it be effective. Yeah, there's yeah. enough weirdos. Uh, and then uh, water cross and dirt skiing are actual things, FYI. Eh, you made those up. You're just putting words together. Are you saying that they're lying? <laughs> I'm not saying nobody's tried it before, but yeah. like as far as a thing where it's like, oh, welcome to the... Is there a dirt ski shop? Is there a water cross... Uh, 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 Somebody's got to be dealership making, selling it, yeah, right? I guess so. Yeah. Um, uh, but, 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 send your Neopets to a Neo Lodge, and you can forget about them for a month. So this is the crucial stuff, you guys. There was should a be lodge checking the comments you send for your pets to. Yeah, I guess they would keep them alive for you. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of having them? I know, right? Yeah. Play with your Neopets. <laughs> yeah. Come on, be good parents. Monsters. Uh, anyways, that's that. Uh, as far as your contribution <laughs> audience. <laughs> yeah. Your job is done. Your job is done, but ours has only just begun because we will keep doing this show should conditions permit. Uh, and next week um, will be something even uh, e even manlier than uh, than Triple X. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. I think so. Yeah. So there's your clue. And we hope you enjoyed this week's installment of Honest Trailer Commentaries. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.